Our last guest is Dr. Thomas Kelso of Orthopedic Specialists. Welcome back to the show today, Dr. Kelso. It's a pleasure to have you. June, it's great to be back. Well, it's been a long time since we've seen you. Gosh, it's been three and a half, four years. I know, it's been a very long time. So let's start off by um, telling our viewers again about a little bit about your education and your background and where you've come from. Sure, I'd love to. A lot, a lot of new people in the area that That's right. don't know me yet, and That's right. uh, I'm glad to give them some background. Uh, my, I went to University of Maryland Medical School. Uh -huh. My undergraduate degree was from Virginia Tech. I uh, actually had a, a little bit of a detour. I, I got a PhD in uh, physiology wow. prior to going to medical school, so I did uh, some academic research in uh, physiology at Washington State and Penn State Universities. Uh, finished my degree in 87, my PhD, defended my dissertation, and then went to University of Maryland uh, and went to medical school and up in Baltimore at University of Maryland and finished there in 1991. After that, I, I owed some payback time to the <laughs> military because they paid, uh, I was on an armed forces uh, professional scholarship to go to medical school. And so I ended up going into practice with the U.S. Navy and was on active duty for nine years with the Navy. After that, my... <laughs> and um, then, and then, and then... So, I mean, at that point, I was, you know, orthopedic surgeon right. and, and practicing. The last two years while I was in the Navy, I had a great time when I was with the Navy. I was the orthopedic surgeon for special, uh, the uh, Special Forces Group, the SEAL Team oh, wow. 6. Uh, we used to call that Naval uh, or the, the, the Special Forces Development Group or the Dev Group, which was the uh -huh. official name for SEAL Team 6, wow. which are, you know, the, uh, the elite guys the elite there. The elite. So I was with them for two years. I never deployed or, or went to battle with them, but I was always there when they came back. Mm -hmm. And they were, I mean, they were interesting guys, a lot of interesting injuries either from training <laughs> or from combat missions and uh, the, those were some good times but I got out of the Navy in 2000 and and took a job in uh, private practice in the Midwest and stayed there for 10 years my wife decided she was tired of the Midwest <laughs> my wife decided <laughs> our, you know, our kids grew, you know graduated sure. from college I mean high school and college and then at that point she wanted to get back to the mid-atlantic region where sure. she grew up and we have a lot of family on the East Coast mm -hmm. and so four years ago we moved back and uh, started practicing here Wow it, at first my initial thought was you couldn't decide what you wanted to do when you grew up. It's true. So you just kept yeah, that is true. <laughs> Fortunately, I kept making good decisions, though. You did, yeah. And uh, I thought I was going to be a college you know, professor really? and, and do research for, at first. And then mm. I did a lot of work with some very good clinicians who happened to work in the veterinary medicine world. And they kind of interest, <laughs> got me interested in doing clinical medicine and taking care of patients. And, uh -huh. and at that point, I said, well, I'm going to just... I'm going to take the medical school admissions test, and if I get in, <laughs> I'm going to take it as a sign. I didn't need to do it, and That's so, right. you know, that was uh, unfortunately long... for us. You ended up back here. I did. I, That's it's, right. It's fortunate for me as well. Yeah. Well, we're happy that you're back. So, Dr. Kelso, let's talk more about orthopedic specialists. Now, I know you have several offices, and they're located in various areas. So, tell me how that came about. Well, our, you know, we would love to be able to just have one main office sure. here in Brunswick County, but unfortunately, the, you know, Brunswick County is a large geographic area. It's the, the biggest county in North Carolina, mm -hmm. and it, it, it's just big enough that we felt like it's better if we had satellite offices in different areas so, so that it would be more convenient for patients to be able to access our orthopedic services in multiple different areas. And so we have four office locations. Mm -hmm. One is in Sunset Beach, one in the Leland area, Southport, and then the other one is in Supply. And we, by putting offices in those four areas, we feel like we can make it convenient for all, all people in the, in the county to reach our services. Yeah, I would agree. I think that by uh, targeting those areas, you make it more convenient for pretty much anyone in Brunswick County to get to one of your offices. And, that, and that's our goal, to make sure. it easy for the patients. Right, absolutely. 
Um, who are your other providers in the practice? Well, there are five guys in our group. Mm -hmm. uh, myself, four of us are orthopedic surgeons, Mike Marushak, Eric Lesko, mm -hmm. and Mark Foster. And then uh, we have a pain management specialist, uh, Dr. David Zub. And, and Eric, and, or Dr. Lesko, and Dr. Marushak, and myself uh, specialize in basically adult reconstruction. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Marushak, and, and we all have a background in sports medicine. Dr. Marushak has done a fellowship in sports medicine. Right. And then uh, Dr. Foster specializes in spine mm -hmm. and foot and ankle. Mm -hmm. And then with uh, David is, of course, or David Zub is our pain management specialist. So we feel like we have a lot of the specialty areas. Mm -hmm. My personal areas that I, that I enjoy is adult reconstruction. And by that, I mean hip replacement, yep. knee replacement, and shoulder replacement. And, and I, I do work in all three of those. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, wondered uh, what services you might provide in your office. What kind of uh, procedures would you do in your office as opposed to a, a hospital? Really, we don't have much in the way other than just seeing patients. Mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of procedures, we do various types of injections, joint injections, visco supplementation injections for arthritis in the mm -hmm. knees. Mm -hmm. But in terms of actual procedures like trigger fingers or carpal tunnel releases, minor surgical procedures, our, our offices are not really mm -hmm. capable of doing that at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, so we don't, other than that, we take most of those services to the hospital. Are there any specific kinds of procedures that you do in the office as opposed to the hospital? Uh, not really, June. Most of the procedures that we do are in the hospital. Mm -hmm. The offices are where we see our new patients, our right. patients we're getting ready. And you have physical therapy too, right, in your office? Not in the offices, there, but we're affiliated with physical therapy, and we work very closely with the physical therapy group so that Patients either before they have surgery or after they have surgery are working with a group that we're have, a, have had a relationship for seven or eight years now, and they're we have really close personal relationship with the therapist. And so, if there's ever any kind mm -hmm. of issue with a patient during their therapy, uh, and the therapist wants to discuss it with the physician, you know, they they call us and we interact with them on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So it's a good working relationship. But we don't do any kind of surgical procedures in the office. Um, are you accepting new patients at this time, and are your other providers accepting new patients? Yeah, we are always, always accepting. accepting new patients. Uh, a surgical uh, practice always needs new patients because you cycle in and cycle out as we take care of you, and mm -hmm. you're healed from your problems and get better, and we have room for new people, and it's an ongoing process, not like a primary care or an right. in internist that basically see the same people over and over again. You know, we are always looking for new patients Good. and very happy to take all comers at any, <laughs> any time you want to give us a call, it's great. And how might they make those appointments? I would say just call the office. Call uh, the main number. Call the main number at the office. Have uh, Talk to your primary care provider about getting a referral to, to okay. see us. A lot of times that's not necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, just ask ask your primary care doctor to, to refer you if you need some sort of... orthopedic specialist. Orthopedic spe specialist is, is our name, and gosh, we would love to take okay. care of all of Brunswick County. Awesome. Well, it was a pleasure to have you back today. I can't wait to have you back again to talk about what else is new at orthopedic specialist. So I'm sure you'll um, be happy to come back and see us. Anytime, June. Appreciate okay. it. Great. Thanks again. Sure thing.